All right, welcome back everybody. This may be a little hard to believe, but this winter officially is not even a month old yet. And wind chills have already hit 50 below here in Montana. Snow has fallen from Mexico down through Florida and a bomb cyclone hit the East Coast. And this week's weather wise, the winter of 2017 2018 has been one of the harshest in many years for millions of Americans. Winter in Montana and across most of the country is off to a frigid start. Big Sky Country has had above average snow with most of the state several degrees below average. Haver is currently 9 degrees below average for January, thus far the most significant anomaly in the state. And after last year's real Montana winter, this year has been even colder and snowier for many. Brutal cold has struck across most of the eastern two-thirds of the country. Record snow and cold even occurred from northern Mexico into Texas along the Gulf Coast of Florida where it snowed for the first time in more than three decades on some parts of the Sunshine State. Everybody's favorite storm, the bomb cyclone, had the strength and wind speed of a hurricane while dropping more than a foot of snow on millions of people. The last several weeks have been one of the worst cold outbreaks to hit the eastern United States in many, many years. While the frequency and intensity of these cold snaps has decreased over the last 100 years, this present outbreak of cold rivals any outbreak since before the Industrial Revolution. And now, you're a little more weather-wise. And some of that cold air is spilled back here into Montana. 11 in the Electric City with some freezing fog around, but just a little further southwest down the road around Cascade, Dearborn temperatures are in the mid to upper 20s right now. Same with the capital, 26 degrees and it is dark, but 20 below zero and a half or 10 below for Glasgow, Glendive, Miles City and Baker, Missoula, almost 40 degrees. And some of this warmer Pacific air will be working into the state here overnight tonight through tomorrow into Wednesday and by really Wednesday just a lot of the state will be looking at much warmer air even up here where we've got a wind chill advisory this going through tonight until 10 o'clock tomorrow dangerously cold the wind not too too terribly strong but it's a combination of the cold numbers with a little wind creating uh, wind chill values maybe 30 40 degrees below zero not much going on precipitation wise after a little light snow and a little light freezing drizzle came through the state last night uh, some snow now moving through the Great Lakes. It's there, trust me. And watches and warnings, wind chill advisories, wind chill warnings from the Dakotas and eastern Montana all the way down into parts of Arkansas. And look at this, yet another big snow and ice storm for the south. Parts of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, all the way up the east coast under a winter storm warning, winter weather advisory, or a winter storm watch for another big storm going through uh, that part of the country. Tonight, mainly clear skies a nice starry night. I think some of that fog around Great Falls will be out of here here over the next couple of hours. Tomorrow it's a mostly sunny day. Some high clouds will sneak in to the western part of the state in the afternoon with a dying system rapidly weakening heading through the afternoon. So really we'll only just see a couple little clouds pushing in from the west. And then Wednesday, partly cloudy day. Thursday though, that's when this front will likely come through with some mixed rain and snow along and uh, right west of the continental divide. Snow levels could come down all the way down to the valley floors and the plains by the time we get into Thursday night, but not talking about a ton of snow here. Yes, the mountains again along and west of the divide will see uh, several inches of accumulation through Thursday night into Friday, but uh, this won't be a big snowmaker for the lower elevations here as the weather kind of gets a little quiet over the next uh, week or so. A little lull in the January snow events. Lows for tonight, it's cold as about 24 degrees below zero up around Haver, eastern Montana, still in some of that Arctic air, and it's cold central western Montana, just not quite as cold as the eastern part of the state. Here comes some of that warmer air, the Arctic boundary getting pushed off toward the east. Great Falls may be up into the 40s tomorrow, 20s, 30s, and a few 40s in the western part of the state, still pretty cold in eastern Montana. For Wednesday, look at that, even Glasgow, Jordan, Glendive, eastern Montana, where it's 10 to 20 below right now, will be up into the 30s. So that's a good 
40 to 50 degree temperature swing. Positive change here heading into Wednesday. A little wind, which will warm those temperatures up. Then into Thursday, here comes the next system. Looks like late in the day, a little mix of some rain and snow, but it will be warm out ahead of that front. And then into Friday, some cooler air moving through with some mountain snow showers. And there may be a couple of mountain snow showers along the divide on Saturday uh, near the capital, but really a bit of a warm up as we get into Thursday and briefly on Friday before it cools back down this weekend. Kind of a quiet weekend with temperatures close to where they should be for this time of year in the 20s and the 30s. Great falls though. We're going to break the ice, so to speak, uh, tomorrow getting back up into the 40s, close to 50 on Wednesday and then maybe even into the lower 50s on Thursday. Next few days though, that wind will be howling. It's kind of a trade off. It gets warmer in the electric city, but then we have the wind. Right. What more? What would you rather have? I guess cold, no wind right here. Perfect. All right, Curtis.